On this rock I will build. This is what Jesus said to Peter, who represents our own spiritual quality of faith. So where do you think this rock is? Where is it in our physical body? Well, it's right here, right at the top of the head. It's this hard, rock-like, bony skull. Now, more accurately, it really is the brain that's within the skull that's the rock of faith. The brain is our central computer station, and it especially involves this uppermost section, which is called the cerebrum of the brain. This is our computer, and it's an incredible, incredible computer because all of our thoughts and feelings, our dreams, our memories, our psychic impressions, our physical activities, all of these are programmed in and through our brain. Charles Fillmore said that faith is the perceiving power of the mind. And in the physical body, all perception takes place in the brain. So it's via our faith and brain working together as one that we can perceive, hey, I'm a being of light. I'm a child of God. And then we can program this right into the brain itself. Jesus also said to Peter, I will give you the keys to the kingdom. And the keys are the key cells, the neurons, the brain cells that are found here. There's about 100 billion neurons. And each of these neurons have tiny nerve fibers that connect them to hundreds and thousands of other neurons. So this makes up this vast circuitry of our brain. In computer parlance, we would say this is the hardware of our computer brain. Now the hardware is just sitting there, waiting to be programmed. And the key is to program it with faith. Faith in God, the good. Faith in our own inner light, our own spiritual essence. Because when we have this faith, then we enter into the kingdom of heaven, which is what Jesus referred to. This is spiritual consciousness. Charles Fillmore, in his book, The Twelve Powers of Man, said that the faith center in the physical body was the pineal gland. And the pineal gland is located right in the center of the brain. So we did have the right general location. And moreover, the pineal gland secretes the hormone melatonin. And melatonin regulates the functioning of our brain. But it really is the cerebrum of the brain. It is this central computer in which we program our thoughts and our beliefs. This computer has the key cells and the circuits on which we build. This is the rock on which we build in the light of our own spiritual self. Seeing ourselves as an expression of the living God, this is the foundation. This is the basis of our, our faith, our perception, our insight, our ability to see ourselves, to image ourselves. This is this great central computer that we have that Dr. Knapp has told us about. This marvelous brain that is contained in this structure that is most like a rock of all of our body parts. This is the rock. This is the faith. In scientific language, well, Jesus didn't have that when he talked about the rock, but we can understand that he was referring to this marvelous thinking ability. See who you really are. Know your value. Realize your marvelous powers. I am a child of God, said Myrtle Fillmore. I am empowered from within to live my life in great ways and to make a great contribution to life. There's an old saying that, uh, I'll believe it when I see it, but that's not really the case. I'll see it when I believe it.